In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this swirling gradient sort of effect using Affinity Designer. So to get us started, I'm going to open a new document. To do that, I'm just going to press Command N on my keyboard or Control N if you're on Windows. And I'm going to size this document at 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now you can use any size that you'd like. I'm just using a standard size here. I would recommend using a larger size because if you're going to use something like this as like a pattern or a background or something like that, you're going to want this as large as possible. Once you have your size set, click the Create button. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And come up here to the snapping menu and make sure you have snapping enabled. It should look like this, it's this magnet icon. If you have it turned off, just go ahead and click on that to enable it. And I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and I will snap to the top left corner of the page and click and drag down to the bottom right corner and snap there and release the click so that we have a rectangle in the size of the document. So now I'm gonna apply a linear gradient to this rectangle. I'll come over here to my gradient tool in the toolbar. You can click on that to select it. You can also press G on your keyboard to access that. And I'll come up here to the type dropdown and I'm gonna change that to linear. Then I'll click on this side of the gradient right here to select it. And I wanna make this half a shade of pink. And then I'll come over here and click on this half of the gradient and I'm gonna use for this side a shade of yellow. You can use any colors you'd like. I'm just going with the colors that I used in the thumbnail of the video. Once you have that, once you have that set, just go ahead and grab this side of the gradient and snap it to the bottom left corner. And then grab this side of the gradient and snap it to the type top right corner. And now we can grab our selection tool. And with the rectangle still selected, I'm gonna press the enter key on the keyboard. And that's gonna bring up the move slash duplicate tool. And the settings we wanna work with here, where it says rotation, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna enter one and then press enter. And then this, for the scale, I'm gonna use 99.5% and I'll press enter. And I wanna click on, oh, I wanna enable this box that says duplicate. And once you do that, you can take this number of copies drop down and you can take this slider and increase it to increase the number of copies on the page. And if you notice, as I increase it, it's creating swirls on the document because it's essentially taking the rectangle and making lots of copies of it that go in a pattern. So I'll bring this all the way up until we have a thousand and one copies like that. And once you're done, you can press OK and then the effect is applied. Now, as you can see here, the pattern is sticking out from the document. So if you want to just make it so that you only see the document and nothing that protrudes from it, you could just press the vertical bar key or the forward slash key to toggle off the visibility of everything that's outside of the canvas. And just like that, you have a swirling gradient sort of effect that we've created with Affinity Designer. So let's go over another thing that you can do with this sort of effect. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool again, and I'm gonna snap my cursor to the center of the page, both vertically and horizontally, and then I'll click and drag to create a rectangle going to the top left corner so that we have a rectangle that's one quarter the size of the page. And I wanna give this a solid fill color. So I'll make this one a shade of pink that we worked with earlier. And I'm gonna make a copy of this rectangle by holding my option key and clicking and dragging. If you're on Windows, that would be the Alt key. So hold Alt and click and drag the square to duplicate it. And I'll make this one a different color. I'll make this one yellow like I did previously. And then I'll duplicate this as well. I'm going to hold Option, click and drag, and then just snap this over here. And this one I will make a bluish shade of purple. And then I'll make another copy of this as well. Again, holding the Option key or the Alt key and clicking and dragging it. And for this one I'll use a dark shade of gray. And once I have that set, I'm gonna click and drag over all three of these, or all four of these, and I'm gonna group them together by pressing Command G on the keyboard or Control G on the keyboard. And you'll notice over here in the Layers menu, they all go into a group once you do that. And once you have that set, you could press the Enter key, and we can apply this same effect that we worked with previously. I can use the rotation of one degree, and I can use the scale of 99.5, and if I click on Duplicate, I can take the number of copies and bring that up and you can see we get sort of like a solid fill color but a swirling effect of all of those solid fill colors and you can adjust this further if you don't like how if you don't like the number of swirls in here you can make them fewer by using a lower value say for example 99 percent and then you end up with something like that you don't want to go too low though because if you go with something like 80 you don't really get the effect you get that sort of thing right there so let me make that even greater. Let's try something like 99.7 and see how that looks. 
Again, we got a lot of swirls there, but then the, the object kind of just stops in the middle. So to get the best effect out of this, I think 99.5 looks good. You can also experiment with other decimal values, let's say like 99.2, and there you go, you get the idea. And you can just click OK. And that's just one of the many ways in which you can use the Move tool, the Move Duplicate tool in Affinity Designer. One last thing I wanted to show you, if you notice here, these are all individual objects in the Layers menu. You can zoom out and select everything, or if you want, you could just press Command A to select everything, and then group them all together by pressing Control G. And now, once you have them all grouped together, you can apply uh, adjustment layers or any other effects you'd like to this grouping of objects, and then they will behave as a unit. And again, if you want to toggle on the visibility of the area outside of the canvas, you could just use your vertical bar or forward slash key uh, to toggle that off and on. And that should do it for today's tutorial. That is how you can experiment with this tool to create these interesting little patterns and designs. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.